Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am covering the Moscow, Idaho case. We're going to talk about Dylan Mortensen and her mom. Her mom, Lily. Lily Mortensen, a.k.a. Lily Rob. There's been a lot of mystery over Dylan Mortensen, a lot of unknowns, right? Dylan Mortensen was one of the two surviving roommates inside that Moscow home where four college students were brutally stabbed during the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022. Most of you seen the affidavit of probable cause against Brian Kohlberger, who was arrested for the murders. And in the affidavit, it says DM, which is Dylan Mortensen, saw Brian Kohlberger, froze, went back into her room, and then 911 was called multiple hours later, and a lot of people are skeptical about that, want to know why Dylan waited so long to call authorities. And there's actually other media reports out there that Dylan Mortensen actually um, called after the, after the murders happened, started calling all the roommates in the house without calling 911, so a lot of unknowns. But I, I'm gonna come up with some speculation here because it goes to maybe possibly Dylan Mortensen's mom, right? Lily Mortensen, AKA Lily Rob. Now, Dylan Mortensen's mom, don't know if it's her biological mom, but Lily Mortensen was married to Brent Mortensen, Dylan's father, right? And they actually got a divorce a few years ago. Check it out. So this is a court case uh, out of Idaho, iCourt Portal. Brent Mortensen versus Lily Mortensen filed in 2017, filing of custody decree from another state. Uh, Lily Mortensen, AKA Lily Rob. Uh, Brent Mortensen, it is basically a um, divorce. It's a divorce, order amending decree of divorce. So it's a divorce, decree of divorce. Looks like, you know, was filed in 2017. So the father, uh, Dylan Mortensen, divorced Lily Mortensen in um, 2017. Dylan would have been a um, teenager. So this, whether this is her mom or her stepmom, uh, she was played a role of Dylan's mom at some point, uh, might still be, but is divorced from Brett Mortensen and now goes by Lily Rob. So they got divorced. Now, Lily goes by Lily Rob now. Don't know if that's her maiden name, don't know if she got remarried, but she works for the University of Idaho. Now, how is that relevant to this? Well, Dylan not calling authorities and Dylan not doing anything about, you know, after seeing Brian in there just inside the home, just slaughtering the four victims makes me wonder, did Dylan not want to call authorities or because of her mom working for the University of Idaho and it could go back onto not only Dylan, but her mom, maybe, like, because, you know, they're all college students at the University of Idaho. Dylan's mom works for the University of Idaho. So I'm just thinking maybe Dylan, I'm trying to get into Dylan's mind and trying to figure out why Dylan didn't call authorities and waited so long. Maybe she thought it would get her mom in trouble somehow because her mom works for the university or some sort of embarrassment back to her mom. So she's just trying to be shh don't let my mom know, kind of do thinking. Do you understand what I mean? It might not make sense, but it might make sense to some of you out there because this whole thing doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So for me to say this and for someone to say, well, you're not making sense. Well, how do you know I'm not making sense? Because we can't make any sense out of what Dylan Mortensen did that early morning hours. Now, we also have limited information, right? So it could make all sense but we don't have that information out there. Gag order on the case. Affidavit of probable cause is just very limited um, on what they want to put out. But it should all come out eventually, whether it's the preliminary hearing, uh, I don't know if Brian's gonna waive that or not, or a grand jury indictment to overstep 
or to to jump ahead of that to stop the preliminary hearing because the prosecution actually has a option to do a grand jury so the preliminary hearing is not there and then eventually to trial right it's eventually a trial it's most most likely that dylan Whit uh, mortensen will be the star witness in this case she will have to speak about this and then you know prosecution got to lay out a timeline in events and then the defense probably most likely will question dylan that night you know why she waited so long what not to try to bring reasonable doubt to brian so limited information so dylan's mom lily rob aka lily mortensen let me know what you think let me know what you think about dylan mortensen she is the topic of the conversation in this tragedy she is one of the surviving roommates and bethany 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 funk she doesn't a lot of people don't speak about her very much either. A lot of unknowns about her, you know, and all we can do is speculate, people following the case. I want to know. I want to know every meticulous detail about this case during those early morning hours and what happened all the way through. A lot of you guys want to know. Justice for the victims and their family. We'll talk soon. I'm en route, flying away flying away going on another true crime trip so stay tuned to my channel i'll be posting more videos soon i'm going to the northeast northeast of the united states there's some cases in the northeast that i am covering so stay tuned for that everyone be safe god bless safe travels